Highlights of the U.S. Women's Amateur Championship, Bel Air Country Club, Los Angeles. Megan Schofield versus Latana Stone. This is Schofield on the par 4, 17th. Her approach shot sticks this one very tight, Damon. Made birdie and went three up on the match. Big year in L.A. Golf professionally and the amateur ranks as well. Schofield on the par 4, 15th. This is the 33rd hole. And again, when it matters, Cozy's one in there. He would go on to win the U.S. Women's Amateur four in three after that bogey from Stone. What a moment for someone who's played in a lot of U.S. Women's Amateur Championships. And here is what comes with that victory, Damon. The gold medal, the custody of the Robert Cox Trophy for a year. The U.S. Open exemption is one of four of the five women's majors. She's earned a spot in for next year and an invitation to the 2024 Augusta National Women's Amateur. And afterwards, she talked to Kay Cockrell about just what it all meant. You seem like you came here on a mission. You've played, this is your sixth U.S. Women's Amateur that you've played, so you have the experience. How important was it to get up to a pretty big three-up lead after the first 18? I felt like that was huge going into the second 18. Um, felt like the momentum was on my side because I won uh, 15, 16, 17. Um, but, I mean, 18 holes, a lot of golf can happen. So I was able to just keep it together that second 18. I just kept reminding myself that we were all square and just try to forget about the first 18. Your boyfriend, CJ, was on the bag. He seemed to be a very steadying force for you when things, there's a lot of ups and downs throughout the week of match play, but I know your father, Billy, he doesn't miss too many tournaments, but this was a little far for him to drive. Your mom, Paulette, and Billy couldn't be here. What would you like to say to them right now? Just thanks for all the support, and um, I wouldn't be here without either of you, so thank you. I know she's not family, but she's your Auburn family. Coach Llewellyn was here today. She, she was here in the beginning of the week, and she flew back to watch this experience. You were bringing this trophy for the first time to Auburn, the first U.S. Women's Amateur Championship uh, to go to Auburn. What did it mean to you to have her out here? I'm glad she's not a jinx, um, but no, I mean, Coach took a chance on me four and a half years ago, and I'm so thankful that she did that for me. And um, She'll be a special person in the rest of my life. She said to you at, before you went out for the second 18 to breathe and believe. How did that resonate with you? It definitely helped. I mean, I felt like I was just really trying to focus on one shot at a time and just really stay in the present and not get ahead of myself because it's a long day of golf. It was a long day of golf indeed, and, and you made it look very easy for the most part. I know 14 was a little bit of an anomaly, but uh, we'll just let that go. Congratulations on, on winning this U.S. Amateur Championship, and let's see you hoist that trophy one more time. Megan Schofield joins us now, and this is the best Monday morning flex we're going to see in a while, Megan, that gold medal around your neck. Congratulations. <laughs> On the victory, I know you played the women's amateur quite a few times. What did those past experiences contribute to what you needed yesterday? I felt like going into this event, I was playing really solid golf. Um, I felt like my swing was in a good spot, but playing championship golf is something that you can only experience. And I feel like playing in really great college events and playing in five previous USAMs have all prepared me for this past week. Um, I felt like any USGA style golf course is going to be tough. Fairways and greens are always a really important part. And that's kind of the strength of my game. I feel like when I'm playing well, I hit a lot of fairways and my irons are usually a really great part of my game. Megan, I imagine that locker room gets a little bit quieter and quieter as the <laughs> week wears on and players go home. What's that vibe like as the, the numbers dwindle throughout the week? Yeah, for sure. We, um, uh, my boyfriend and I talked about it a lot. Like when we made it to the quarterfinals, we're like, wow, this place feels like such a ghost town. Then we made it to the semis. And when there was just Latana and I, I was like, oh my goodness, like this whole golf course is just set up for the two of us. It just was crazy. Like it, it, it really is a weird feeling, but um, it was, it was really fun to be able to do that. 
I'm curious what the nerves were like the night before the final, Megan, because I read somewhere that your boyfriend's alarm almost got him fired <laughs> as caddy and boyfriend. Yeah, so um, I was I was pretty anxious the night before the final round, as I feel like most people would be. But um, yeah, his whoop alarm went off at like 4 a.m. and I had already had a really hard time going to sleep the night before. And once I'm up, I'm up. And so I never went back to sleep after that. And I was quite hot <laughs> that morning, but um, obviously it worked out. That's what he kept telling me. He's like, well, it didn't affect you too much. Like, you can't be that mad. <laughs> Our second whoop mention on this uh, show with Dom Chu. Whoop, <laughs> there it is. Hey, Megan, I got another question <laughs> for you. I I've read that you're a bit of a superstitious type. What are some of your superstitions that involve golf? Um, so... When I'm putting, if I'm putting well, like I'll usually keep the head cover in the same exact spot. So the last three matches, I think the putter head cover had to be on the ground the whole time. The driver head cover has to be sideways on the top of my bag. I can only use white tees from my home course. Um, I wore the same hat the whole week. So did my boyfriend. He wore the same hat from the second day of stroke play on. Um, we ate Chick-fil-A every single morning, except obviously on Sunday, which I was a little stressed about not being able to do that. Um, but yeah, no, the superstitions are, that's just a few of them too. And obviously my parents didn't come and they were kind of, didn't, they wanted to come obviously, but they didn't want to mess me up and change. They had been home all week. So they're like, we're not going to change that up. Wow, I thought this game had done a number in my head, Damon. This is quite <laughs> something out here. How difficult was it to separate playing from a friend because you've known Latana for quite a long time, right? Yes, I have. I've known her. She's probably one of my longest golf friends, really. Um, but Latana is a great girl on and off the golf course. So I, I felt like for me, Latana was going to treat me the same if I was up or if she was up. I felt like she was going to talk to me the whole time and I wanted to be able to talk to her. And it kind of just, I mean, it, golf's just a game. You know, obviously we both really wanted to win, but at the end of the day, like, there's a lot more that's more important than just golf. Megan, I understand when Auburn athletes do something very well, they roll Toomer's corner uh, and the women's golf team did something in support of you. Can you explain what that, not superstition, but uh, tradition is all about? Yeah, Auburn's all about tradition and it's all about family. And I had no idea that they were going to do that. Obviously, I wasn't on my phone much. And I get a call from Joan Alexander, our director of ops, and they're all at Tumors rolling it. And that was such a cool experience, especially since they just reopened those two trees that were poisoned in 2017. So that was such an awesome thing for me. And I, I'm definitely super thankful that they did that and just shows how much they care and support me all the time. And it just it was such an honor. And I'm really thankful for all of them. We've just seen, Megan, that you have exemptions into four of the five women's majors next year, the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Do you have any ambitions left to accomplish in the women's amateur collegiate game? Yeah, I'm, I definitely am. I'm, I'm going to stay this whole year for my fifth year and play one more year at Auburn. And I, I probably will stay in amateur through the rest of the fall. Um, I, I'm not really sure exactly when my plans are to turn pro, but... Yeah, I definitely will stay at AM the whole summer, and I probably will play most of those exemptions. And just professional golf is always going to be there, so I, I don't feel the rush to turn pro just yet. Well, Megan, it was sure fun to watch. Congratulations on being a national champion. Thank you so much.